In my Fishing Mate Simple video, I showcase the perfect fishing technique, which allows you to catch every single fish in Red Dead Redemption 2 with a 100% success rate. Check out that video if you haven't already, because today we are going to really put those skills to the test by finding and catching all 13 legendary fish in the game. I'll show you the location of every legendary fish on the game's map, and then I'll show you the exact positioning you need to be in for each legendary fish to actually bite, giving you the opportunity to catch each one. Some of them are surprisingly tricky and involve some sneaky movements just to reach where they are located. But there's no need to fear because I will show you the way. Remember that in order to access every body of water on the map that contains a legendary fish, you will have to complete the game's main story first. Finally, we will end the video by going out to catch that elusive, super, ultra, mega, impossibly rare legendary channel catfish. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. First things first, we need to visit Jeremy Gill right here on the map to trigger the A Fisher of Fish stranger mission. He will ask you to catch all 13 legendary fish and mail them to him. Some of the legendaries could be stowed away, but others are so large that they have to be stored on the back of your horse. I recommend mailing those larger ones to Jeremy as quickly as you can. He also will give you a map that points out the location of every legendary fish, but it's not especially specific or helpful. This video is a much better resource, trust me. The legendary fish are larger than regular fish, which usually means they take a bit longer to catch. However, the good thing is you'll need to worry about far less baits or lures when dealing with these legendaries. You only need to purchase three special lures in order to catch them all. The Special Lake Lure, Special River Lure, and Special Swamp Lure. These can all be purchased at the Special Bait Shop in Lagris. By using the optimal lures for each legendary fish, and finding the exact right location to fish, the legendaries will usually bite on the very first attempt. So for the first legendary fish, we are going to head west of Rhodes here in this area to find the legendary bluegill. Take note of my positioning on the map here because I tried other nearby spots with no success. It weighs only four pounds, so this guy shouldn't be a problem at all. The lure you need to use for this legendary is the special lake lure. Next, head towards St. Denis to find the legendary lake sturgeon using the special river lure. We are going fishing on those train tracks to find this one, so make sure you don't get murdered by a train while doing this. This is some extreme fishing right here. Head north to the Lagra Swamp area to find the legendary Longnose Gar using the special swamp lure. From here we head directly east and actually have to cross the water to the Sisika Penitentiary to find the legendary bullhead catfish using the special river lure. Depending on your progress through the game, you may or may not have a wanted level here. After completing the main story, you will have a permanent wanted level in this area that you cannot get rid of. So, we're going to be fishing here under some pretty unique circumstances. Either while police are shooting at us, which is some hardcore ass fishing, or you can stealth your way onto the island on a canoe like this, and quickly catch the fish in this spot before being noticed. I'll admit, I died a few times attempting to catch this fish, but you should be able to get this one without being shot after a couple of tries. Next up is a much easier catch right here on the eastern edge of the Van Horn Trading Post, and it's the legendary muskie, which requires use of the special river lure. We then head northwest to Elysian Pool to find the legendary perch using the special lake lure. I paddled the canoe to the direct center of the lake in order to find this guy. At the top right edge of the map, we could find the legendary steelhead trout using the special river lure. We then have to head all the way to the northwest side of the map beside the A in Amberino to Lake Isabella. 
We have to do a bit of ice fishing here to find the legendary sockeye salmon using the special lake lure. This is the biggest legendary fish in the game, weighing in at a whopping 54 pounds, so this one might be a bit of a struggle. Be sure to polish up on your fishing skills and really get that perfect technique down before tackling this monster. We then head south to Owenjila to find the legendary smallmouth bass using the special lake lure. Continue south to Aurora Basin to find the legendary rock bass using the special lake lure. Then all the way to the southern part of the map here at this section of the San Luis River to find the legendary largemouth bass using the special river lure. We then start heading back up north and at Stillwater Creek come across the legendary redfin pickerel using the special lake lure. And finally we wrap things up here at this section of the Dakota River and catch the legendary chain pickerel using the special river lure. Congratulations, you have now caught every legendary fish in the game. Or have you? To complete the stranger mission, mail every fish away to Jeremy Gill, and then skip forward in time 24 hours to receive the invitation. You can then visit his house again to officially complete the stranger mission, which is a requirement to reach 100% completion of the game. But Gill has one more journey to bring us on. He is intent on finding and catching the legendary channel catfish. He claims the fish weighs almost 200 pounds, which would put it at about four times the size of that 50 pound legendary sockeye salmon that we just caught. Anyways, we follow him all the way to the river here and are forced to watch a fairly long cutscene of this dude trying to catch the fish. Finally, this happens. He comes! Here comes him! Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. That must be the fish. If we check out our map, we could see that a new legendary fish has been drawn right where we're standing, which means this must be the place we find the legendary fish, right? So I threw out the special river lure and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And before I knew it, an hour went by and I didn't even find the fish, much less catch it. This coming after 13 legendary fish that were caught after one attempt, or maybe two or three at most. So I headed to the internets. Surely they have the answer I seek. What am I missing? Why can't I find this damn fish? As it turns out, no one has been able to find the fish. And this game has been out for a month. Then I started putting all the pieces together. A 200 pound fish? Wait, catfish? Catfish, catfish. So in case you aren't aware, a catfish isn't just a type of fish. It's actually a term used to describe a person pretending to be something they are not, usually pretending to be attractive, but in reality, doesn't actually exist. It's all a ruse. The legendary channel catfish is a troll. Rockstar are the master trolls. First that damn giant and now this. They are on a roll with this game. Even the guys who made the strategy guide were in on the joke, listing the fish and its weight here when they damn well know it's not in the game. Bastards. So yeah, it's not real. And so the secret of the legendary channel catfish is revealed. The mystery is solved. Luckily for you, I wasted my time so you don't have to. Anyways, that's about it for today. Hopefully that helped you track down all of those legendary fish and take another big step towards 100% completion. We are still in the beta period for Red Dead Online and I've been making my way deeper and deeper into this new spin on the Red Dead 2 experience. I have a ton of videos and guides in the works on how to rank up quickly and how to make money quickly, but I don't want to rush these things out in case better strategies come up. 
Expect more online videos very, very soon. So if you like this video and want to see more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Because that online content is going to be coming hard. And those costume guides for the single player portion of the game are still on the way as well. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.